Lancaster County Commissioners continue to meet right now, deciding on how $95 million in federal money will be spent. Now, the goal there is to help businesses um, keep them safe and help keep people um, healthy. Here's what's happened so far. Lancaster General Health's chief medical officer presented a plan that will help increase testing up to as many as 1,000 people a day. Dr. Michael, Michael Ripchinski also laid out how the health system would use nurses who are already calling COVID positive patients to begin contact tracing phone calls countywide. That proposal is a total of $25 million and it's been unanimously approved by the commissioners. Next, the Lancaster County Chamber of Commerce and the Economic Development Company proposed an economic recovery plan aimed to help small businesses. This is a $33 million proposal which will purchase PPE for businesses and help retrofit companies so it's safe for them to reopen. So commissioners just minutes ago unanimously approved this plan as well. Now these two plans for testing and tracing and business safety account for $58 million of the federal money and Chamber CEO Tom Baldridge says the county cannot get started soon enough. This is the know? hope. We believe this plan coupled with what Lancaster General's planning is a key element of providing and assuring the hope and uh, we want to get started on it yesterday. Thank you. Now we should be Thank clear you, that Lisa. no portion of this meeting will vote or confirm Lancaster County's plan to move to the yellow reopening phase Friday. That decision is not something that Lancaster County commissioners can vote on. The proposals brought forward today though do address some of the concerns that other lawmakers and residents have brought forward with reopening. In Lancaster County, I'm Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8.